Hi there, I am Khadar and in Electronics Made Easy today, we are going to talk about free energy or radiant energy. So this concept was originally uh, invented by Mr. Nikola Tesla very long back and this dealt with uh, harvesting uh, energy from the electromagnetic waves or the radi radiant waves. So uh, this, the generated energy may not be much to run any big device, but it's enough to maybe power smaller, smaller devices. And in future, if you can scale it, then maybe we may make it suitable to run other devices or bigger devices. So today we are going to make a small prototype of this uh, free energy uh, device. And we are going to see how, how much voltage can we get out of it. So let's see how we can make it. For this device, we will need a receiver or an antenna. So in our case, it's a coil with one end uh, left open and the other end is connected through a wire to a bridge rectifier. So, bridge rectifier's AC input is connected to the antenna. Like this. So, the other AC input of the bridge rectifier is grounded or connected to the house earthing system. So, this one is very important. Without this, you won't get any output at the bridge rectifier output. So, earthing should be done very properly. And the antenna should be kept at a height, at least uh, 10 feet or 10 to 15 feet above the ground level. Next, the output of the bridge rectifier is connected to a capacitor. So this is this capacitor is usually chosen to be a electronic capacitor for higher capacity. So we'll choose it about 100 microfarad. Coming to the rectifier, the rectifier we cannot use 1N4007 diodes for this rectifier because they will have a lot of uh, voltage drop and not just that even the frequency response is very less so as in our case we are trying to harvest the RF energy or the RF waves electromagnetic waves so uh, to rectify the RF waves we need a high speed switching diode while 1 and 4 double zero se uh, 7 is a power diode with very low switching speeds so we will choose a signaling diode which is a 1 and 4148 high speed switching diode so this diode can be used or we can also use uh, 1N34 which is a germanium diode. This is also a high speed switching diode. The advantage of 1N34 over 1N4148 is that 1N34 has a voltage drop of 1.3 volts only because it is a germanium diode. So let's make this circuit and see. So we are considering this 1N4148 diodes and a 100 microfarad capacitor. We will first make a reject fire. Attach this capacitor to the rectifier, to the positive negative ends, keeping in note the polarity of the capacitor also. So now the receiver is ready, like this. And now to the other two end of the bridge rectifier, for one end we will connect the antenna and for the other end we are going to connect the uh, grounding. For the antenna I have already wound 100 turns of this uh, 26 gauge wire over this plastic uh, bobbin kind of a thing. And one end I have left open like this. To the other end what I have done is I have removed the enamel over the tent I have connected to this uh, rectifier circuit like this. So keeping in note this uh, copper wire is an enameled copper wire so there will be insulation over it. To remove it you can either scrape it with a blade or you can burn it with a uh, uh, burn it and then remove it with a blade. So coming to the next end the other end of the uh, rectifier the other AC end of the rectifier is connected to a alligator clip like this so that uh, I can connect this end to the uh, grounding system or the earthing system. So this should be uh, properly grounded because uh, as we are considering the potential of the air, it is taken with respect to the ground. So it is very important uh, to ground the system properly. So let's fix the circuit and see. So here I have connected the receiver coil to a plastic piece over my energy tower. I am going to explain about my energy tower in my next video. And the wire comes here. This is the bridge rectifier and the capacitor. I have connected the 
two copies of the multimeter to the two positive and eight terminals of the jet fan, and as you can see, the voltage is rising here. Uh, we'll just short the capacitor and see how again the voltage starts from zero. See here I shorted and now as you can see the voltage is rising. And as you can see I have connected another wire here to the earth. So one wire goes to the uh, uh, home grounding system, home earthing system. And the other wire comes here to a secondary, uh, second coil I have kind of made. Uh, this is made from uh, 22 gauge wire about 20 turns here I have connected the small diode here and I have connected to the earth uh, side of the objectifier so this is just for experimentation purpose I have not yet uh, got good results on that so if I get uh, good results I will be showing you about this system in the second video so for now you can just connect this uh, one wire from the receiver and the second wire to the grounding system I will show you where I connected the grounding system so as you can see uh, the voltage is rising it's 0 0.75 volts so as you can see it's about 2 to 3 minutes and the capacitor charged to about 1.169 168 the capacitor will discharge in between um, if the grounding is not properly done so as you can see if i move the grounding the capacitor is charging and discharging so i used a 100 microfarad capacitor here so the charging time is a bit low and if you use uh, less capacitance values then it will charge faster and the earthing wire is given through an alligator clip to this house earthing system here and as you can see there is a thin copper wire which is running to the circuit so that was my free energy device uh, I have tried even other devices uh, other circuits available in the uh, on internet but uh, they didn't work out for me I felt that this was the best simple and uh, more efficient circuit and please uh, try at your home and tell me how uh, what are outputs and please share your outputs in the comments below and if you like my videos, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe for my further future videos. Thank you.